Learning Svasemis Pajra Yeshiv Shnas Tov Reish Lamedalut, the second Svasemis on the page, on the Parsha of Yeshiv Ayimoyin. When Ashish Pektifela asked him to cohabit with her, he said, No, this is Shashalus, the Ayimoyin. He said, my master has everything in the house. <coughs> he gave to me except for the bread that he eats. And bread is referring to his wife. He ate to the whole Odom. So I said, Mrs. this is, is, is a advice on how to overcome difficulties. Shayala Daito. You have a personal thing. How can HaKadosh Baruch Hu give permission to a person to do things which are against the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu? Even so, everything that you do, whether it's correct or incorrect, comes from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's HaKadosh Baruch Hu's ability, uh, input, not input, the uh, Nikuda, of life which permits you to do that. Just like Kodesh Baruch Hu wants a person to fear him, as we find, and, and therefore be able thus to overcome his inabilities, his tendencies to do wrong. Kedersiv, as it says in the Posik, what does Kodesh Baruch Hu ask from you but to fear Hashem? To fear Hashem. In other words, you have the ability to do and the choice is yours. And if you fear Hashem, you'll do the proper thing. That's why it says, it says, ki im, the same ki im, to fear. And and ki im, the Svasemis uses uh, the idea <coughs> that your master only left you out of it. The ki im, that's what the Bible gave us, to fear. That we have to fear Hashem in order to overcome our failings. Therefore, a person has to be embarrassed before HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'm standing in front of Hashem. <clears throat> in our time, it's very easy to understand that whatever we do can be seen from distances. Certainly, HaKadosh Baruch Hu has that ability. He shouldn't be able, a person should be found unable to move with the desire of Hashem. <clears throat> and even so, this comes... A person has to give his little part. He has to say, no, I don't want to. I have to say, I don't want to. Please, Hashem, help me out. Maybe that's why it wasn't enough just a little bit. <coughs> the Shal Shilas goes, and he said, no, I can't. <coughs> he said it again, no, I can't. Why? Without reason. Because this is what HaKadosh Baruch wants. And that way he was Zeichah. To attain, to understand the truth. As it says, whoever is f- fear is greater to his wisdom, his wisdom remains. And thus, we see that Yosef Ye- merited through the sale that he was embarrassed when they shot him, they shamed him, they took off his garments that made him separate from them. And in the entire time, we don't find Yosef having remorse. Is that the right word? Or having regrets about what took place. How could Hashem permit it? He didn't. He believed everything is Latoiva. And that's why we find that Yosef wasn't embarrassed when it came to doing mitzvahs or staying away from our neighbors. <coughs> he never was embarrassed. Vayonos v'yeti achutzo. He fled from the Eishis Poitifara, from the house of Poitifar, and he went out without his jacket. He left it behind. The Rebbe Zatzal was your, was your title this week, Chai Kislev. We often mention the Ramban. Ramban says that he did it, he didn't care about his personal feelings. He left behind the the, the, the the garments so that 
she should not be embarrassed. He shouldn't yell and alert others to the situation. Even though that landed him up in jail, he preferred that over embarrassing somebody else. And therefore, Shehoyal Yisuah, he had his sisters in Shemayim, that he would be able to accept that embarrassment for the sake of Hashem. And we have to learn many things from this action that we find in the Torah. How to accept everything that Kodesh Baruch gives us with simcha and love. Because he neiru alilo. It's, he's beyond our comprehension. Something way beyond any ability of ours to understand. The whole concept of selling Yosef, it was something that the Shvotim, basically their, their disagreement was how could Yosef separate himself? By having a dream of Achad or Sukhichovim, eleven stars will bow to him. The twelve should take care one unit, the, the twelve tribes, the Shvotim, which are called Shifte Kor, the Shvotim of Hashem, are one unit. And yet, what did they do? They sold him and separated him. And there's no comprehension to this. How can those who actually want to keep everything together? Are the ones who cause the break. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu causes things to happen that what happened was ultimately they separated Yosef from them and all that occurred actually was that his two sons became Shvotim and in the twelve sons we reckon Menashe and Ephraim and Shevet Levi is reckoned separately. Then it was to separate him without explanation. Yosef, Yosef was elevated that he wasn't among the Shvotim because we don't find Yosef, we find Menashe of Ephraim so in a sense he was separated as it says Nazir Echov he was considered a Nazir, separated from his brothers <clears throat> so according to Svasemis, Yosef is in an elevated position and that's why he's separate because he's going to have his own Shvotim and technically, he was supposed to have all 12 Shvotim, but he was Melech in Mitzrayim. Therefore, the Rashi brings down the Chazal, that from his hands, he lost his 10 fingers. He lost 10 of his children, because the king utilizes his hands for the people. And he was left with two, but he remained elevated and separate from all the other Shvotim. So he has to learn to utilize our ability to say no. We find in the Chesidah uh, 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 translation that the ability to say no was given to us by Hashem. May Hashem help that we should be served to Mashiach ben Yosef, Mashiach ben David, served to the Gula Shleim, and may of Yemenu. Amen.